あれいじめられっ子のハルくんじゃんうちでそういうつまんないことされると気分悪いんだけど。We are now less than two months away from starting the brand new year, which means new anime series are about to release for the winter 2022 season, which is exactly what this video is all about. It will be covering 10 anime series I really think you all should give a go at, or at least, you know, watch. Since I included quite a few from the new season in my previous videos, I wanted to give other interesting looking series a chance for the spotlight. Now, if you're new around here, then please consider subscribing with the notifications bell turned on, as it really helps my channel out in the long run. Now, without keeping you all waiting, let us begin with the video. We kick things off with Attack on Titan, the final season part 2, which is pretty much the finale that will conclude the entire series. This is by far the biggest anime that is coming out for winter 2022, and so many people are just, you know, super excited to see the epic battles, the story, and the characters continue onwards. Things are about to get crazier than ever, and I feel like MAPPA are doing such a very good job with the series so far, you know. Amazing sequences, solid CGI from the previous part, and now we are entering the finale. Maggie. Orient is an anime series created by the man who did the Magi series, which is by far one of my favorite long running shonen series of all time. I loved Magi so much, and to this very day, I still do. Sinbad no Boken was personally my favorite one of the Magi series, and now the creator is making a brand new series called Orient, which I'm super excited to see. It's gonna involve a lot of action, magic abilities, and cool looking characters that are look, you know, Easily likable, and if you enjoyed Magi, then surely this is a series that you should definitely consider. <laughs> For the longest time, I've always been such a huge fan of football in reality, and especially when it comes to anime, it's one of my most favorite sports to watch in anime form. Futsal Boys follows the main character named Haru, who finds inspiration from a Japanese football player to where Haru now wishes to play football himself. He then joins, you know, an academy to hit the club, and with a goal of becoming similar to his inspirational player, over there he will make brand new friends and together face off against rivals to win the championship. Championship. Next on this list, we have is Rust Eater Bisco, which is a very unique fantasy shonen series about a world that was taken over by a plague like wind that turned the world post apocalyptic. Nothing remains on this land as it sweeps it away, and all that remains is just rust. The main character named Bisco is an archer that shoots fungi or mushroom and is a wanted criminal, but he is in fact doing this to enrich the land with fungi to restore it back to its usual self. Now he's on a journey in search for a legendary mushroom that is set to devour all the rust in the world, and that is exactly what he is aiming for. So, get ready for a mushroom adventure, and if you hate mushrooms, then you might not like this show. <laughs> Now we move on to an isekai series of a main character who is the strongest sage but with the weakest crest. Reincarnated into the body of a six year old, Matthias has attained the mark which gave him access at close combat, but magic and swordsmanship has drastically been reduced within the era, and only wielding very basic spells, his current mark, once being the absolute best, is now viewed as one of the worst things. Now, at 12 years old, he has decided to enroll into an academy and score. High enough to reach big ranks, but of course, he will later discover that dark forces are hiding in the shadows, working on their evil plans, and it's up to Matthias to stop them. <laughs> やめてください! 
the ultimate harem is nearly here for winter 2022. Episode 1 has actually already aired not long ago, mainly as you know a special preview and what I have seen pretty much tells me that the excitement is yet to come. A guy was chosen to survive the T-Virus which is wiping out all the males from the planet Earth except for females and upon waking up years later the whole world has changed and the only few males who are left are treated as, you know, special resources for the purpose of reproducing with as much woman as possible and this right here is where the harem kicks off. <laughs> Up next is Tokyo 24, which is an anime original tackled by one of the best anime studios known as Cloverworks. In an artificial island at the Tokyo Bay known as the 24th Ward, three friends live there who have, you know, different personalities and takes, but always hang out together as great friends. But one day, they all received a phone call, and supposedly this is from a friend who has been dead for quite a while, and he has told them to choose their future. Now the three will try and protect the 24th fourth ward and the rest of the people who live there as this tragic incident that will be taking place. Are <laughs> Tribe 9 is yet another anime original coming in winter 2022 created by Leiden Films and while sitting down to watch the trailer and see what it's all about I couldn't you know help myself but realize how extremely similar the characters look to Danganronpa you know specifically the art style there is more than one main character in this series and the cool thing is that it's actually a sports anime series focusing on baseball which is not my favorite sports but just you know the whole world taking place in a cyberpunk like era and the characters looking like Danganronpa is pretty good and enough to make me want to keep watching it. It actually hasn't even been that long, but we are getting the return of the Book of Vanitas for the second part. And I actually really enjoyed this anime a lot, and Studio Bones did a great job at creating probably one of the best vampire anime series in such a long time. Amazing characters, mysterious story, and lots of secrets to discover hidden in the Book of Vanitas, and what else he is pretty much capable of. Really glad to see this coming back for another part, and all of this will be taking place in 2022. Finally on this list we have is Fruits Basket Prelude, which is one of my most exciting anime series coming for me in winter 2022. You thought that the masterpiece of a romance series was over, but it's coming back with a movie this time. Now this is going to be an incredibly unique story of Tohoru's mother and father focusing primarily on them, you know, how they met, fell in love, and got married. It's gonna be super interesting to see some extremely great character development and learn the backstories of these two characters and the things that they have been up to that led to the events that happened in the Fruits Basket remake. <laughs> We have now reached the end of the video and I've run out of series to recommend but there will always be more the next time you stick around the channel. So I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching all the way to the very end of the video. Leave a like if you did enjoy and as always I'll be seeing you all in the next one.